Hello everyone, my name is Ben with Income Options Trading. Today I'm going to go over how to install the intraday mood indicator for Thinkorswim. So I have the Thinkorswim platform and right now the indicator is only available for Thinkorswim. Um, possibly in the future we'll have other um, APIs available for different platforms, but right now it's just Thinkorswim. So I have the chart tab open, I'm in SPX. And for the time frame for this indicator, it has to be intraday. So I'm going to go into the time frame, make sure that you have something intraday. Uh, I'd recommend a 1, 5, 15, or 30 minute chart. Um, you can play around with it to see what you like. So once I have that done, I'm going to go up into the upper right hand corner here and click Setup. Then I'm going to go down to Open Shared Item. And here it wants us to do the URL. So in the video description below, I have the TOS, the TOS address for this indicator. You can copy that, or if you click on it, this web page will pop up, and you can highlight the web, the address from here. And to paste it in, you're gonna click in the box and then do Control V. It'll populate that, hit Preview. And here's the intraday mood indicator. And you guys can click this import latest version and that will bring in the latest version and you won't have to update it. But I am going to go with the basic one so I can show you how to update any future updates. So then I'm gonna click import. And it says that it was successfully imported. So now to add it to my chart, I'm going to go to Studies. I'm going to go Edit Studies. I'm going to go down to Intraday Mood Indicator. Right there, click Add Selected. And then click OK. And it's going to populate here on the lower end. And it might take a little bit for my internet to populate, but it should populate the historical data for what you have on your chart. And here it is. So you can see a little bit in here, there's a break where there's nothing plotted. And to fix that, it has to do with the extended hours range here. So to fix that, I'm going to go up here and click on this gear wheel, chart settings. I'm going to go to equities and make sure I have the show extended hours trading session unticked. So I'm going to untick that, click OK. Now it's going to repopulate everything and we should see a continuation or a continuous line for this indicator. Now you can see that it populates the entire day continuously. All right, so now you have the indicator loaded uh, and occasionally there will be updates that are pushed out throughout time. So to check if there's any updates available, you can go up to the tools tab here, which is right next to charts. And under received items, uh, you should see the intraday mood indicator here. If you don't, like I don't right now, you might have to change your period here from last seven days to probably all time. Uh, if I go to last month, it'll pop up for me. And you can see for under updates here, there's update available. So if I just click on that, it will uh, bring this up and I can import the updated version. Um, or I can create a new name for it if I wanted to make this, say, Intraday Mood Indicator V1 or something like that. If you're not going to change the name before you click Import, I'm going to click Cancel there. Make sure you go back to your chart and you take off the existing study that's on there. If you don't, uh, you'll get an error message and you'll have to restart your Thinkorswim platform. So I'm just going to take that off my chart here 
go to tools under received items. Oh, and make sure that you're under shared items. If you're under think logger videos, this won't pop up. So make sure you're under shared items, received items, and updates available. I'm going to click on that. And this pops up. I can click import. Make sure it's okay to overwrite it. And now the updated version is imported correctly. So if I go back to the charts, studies, edit studies, I can go back down and put this indicator back in. Hit selected. Click OK. And it'll pop up on the lower end here again. And this will be the updated version. And eventually it'll populate here. My internet is just a little slow. So you can see today uh, is basically the, how you read this indicator is the green line above it is indicates a bullish trend and the potential trade or suggested trade is selling a put spread. If it's below the red line here, then the potential trade is to sell a call spread because it's bearish. And if it's in between the green and the red, then it's suggesting an iron condor. And if you go into studies here, edit studies, under the lower portion here for the intraday mood indicator, you can click on the gear wheel. And more settings will pop up. And I'm not going to go into it too much in this video, but you can change where these lines are at. So the default is 40, but if you want, you can change this to say 50 or 10 or, or whatever. Um, basically, the wider the range, the wider the, uh, or it'll change how it suggests trades. So I'm just going to leave it at 40. And there's different drop downs. You can. You can kind of play around with it. Um, potential trade. So if if you don't want it to give you a potential trade, you can turn that off. If you don't want it to show the lines, the green and red lines, you can turn those off. Internal divergence are these teal uh, bars here. So I'm just going to touch on those quick. So basically, uh, when the um, market internals or diverging there will be a teal bar that shows up and it shows the potential for a uh, reversion of the indicator so here uh, you can see that we were almost 100 percent bullish there was this teal bar here which lines up right about there and that tells us that there's a potential um, reversion meaning that or change in, in indication of the market direction. So in this case, we're bullish. We see this teal bar. Maybe we're going to start to turn bearish. And you can see that we started to go down a little bit. And today was very bullish, so we never got uh, a big pullback. But you can see that at this teal bar that we did turn around a little bit. You can look at the other teal bars. Here there's a little pullback. And back here, not really. Um, but that's just another way uh, of looking at this indicator. Um, so if I go back to studies, edit studies, click the gear. This last drop down box is alerts. You can turn alerts on or off. Uh, down here, under alerts, you can turn certain alerts on or off, um, change the sound or turn off the sound if you want, um, and, and kind of play around with that too. So basically, um, every time the plot here goes over a green or a red line, it will give you an alert. And so changing the mood range will also affect how often those alerts happen. And you can also change the time frame. So the one minute bar here is gonna give quite a few dings throughout the day. 
if I go to a five minute chart, we can see that there should be less. Let's go to the five minute. Yeah, so the five minute looks like it only gave one alert of a potential bullish to neutral indication and that was uh, 40 minutes before the market closed. Um, so that's kind of the basics of the mood indicator. Um, I'll be posting future videos to go over the indicator in more detail and how to use it. But this video is more so just to get it installed and get it up and running so you guys can start to play around with it. Uh, just a disclaimer, I should have said this at the beginning that this mood indicator is just for educational purposes only and it's not uh, actually recommending any trades. Um, you are responsible for the trades you put on. This is just to help as a guide um, if you so choose to use it for your own trading. So thanks for watching and look for the future videos where I dive into more detail. Thanks.